Okay, um, in this tutorial, this is just really a quick look at some of the um, useful tools that we haven't looked at yet. Uh, so I'm just going to look at a couple on the, of these. Um, so the first one is just being able to switch over to an orthographic view from a perspective view. So this is useful if you want to position this to be able to put some kind of designs on. Because um, what we can do with this, if I'm just still rotating around with Alt, I press shift down we can snap to different views so I can snap the camera to either a front view a top view go to the back and go to the sides uh, and that makes that really handy um, so if I want to create something like I did in a, a previous tutorial um, kind of going in and just doing just get an alpha Okay. So something like that. If I just want to drag these down, um, then I can do that. Let me just go in here. Let's just click these off. Let's just have our height information. Okay. So if you remember what we were doing last time, or oh, another tutorial. Um, is we're using the shift key and we can use the control key and that's going to give us a perfectly straight line okay so this is just going to be straighter with using this front view rather than the perspective view so that's one useful thing do these in fact I'll click and I'll stay in this view actually for now uh, another thing we have is the symmetry option so with this symmetry option, if I click this on, what this gives us is a symmetry plane, and we can change that. So we can have an X symmetry plane, or we can go on the Y, or we can go on the Z. So if I wanted, for example, to put some rivets around this, and also wanted them to be on the back as well, uh, we can do that. So I can just Alt Shift that into place. If you don't want this projection on, by the way, there is the option to be able to click that off to hide the symmetry plane on there. So if I take this again, um, let's go into my lazy mouse and let's just kind of go through. on there. Might as well carry this on. Okay, something like that. And that will have gone through to the back as well. So it just saves you some time. Um, this could be quite useful if we're doing this for example where I can't see underneath. I could actually go through and do this on the back. So again, just shift clicking that. And I can just go through. Doing this quite quickly. Okay, so that's another useful feature. And we can just switch that off by clicking the symmetry off. Okay, so there are just a couple of things that we've not yet looked at that are really handy. Um, so that's just the end of this little short tutorial.